Good morning, boys and girls. Today is Friday, March 27th, and it is our fifth day of remote learning. So first, second, third, fourth, fifth, the number five. So we've been practicing writing our numbers, representing our numbers in different ways. Today, I'm going to use doing a picture. So, and when we're doing math, when we're not really doing arts, so we don't have to do super fancy pictures. So I'm just going to draw circles for today, and I'm going to draw them how five looks like on our dice. That's just one way that we can do it. There's another way that we can show five. Or five in a line. So representing a number showing a picture. If I have five flowers in my garden, how many more flowers do I need to make ten? Today for our weather, it's going to be about the same as yesterday, about 58 degrees, partly cloudy, so it'd be another good day to go outside and do something outside and be active. You're doing an amazing job on your flip grids. Keep it up. I was able to video chat yesterday with Elsa. Some of you tried and it missed uh, missed me a couple times. So we can try that again today. In the flip grids, Mrs. Harshman also left us a message. So see if you can find her message from yesterday. And she responded um, to someone in our flip grid topic also. Today you're going to have another read aloud and it's actually going to be connected to your art and your journal. We're going to have another countdown lesson where you are going to be segmenting words that have three sounds. And in math today you're going to need your hand, just one of them, and we're going to be working on some subtraction. I'd also like you to take some time to get into Ticket to Read and I Ready. The weekend is coming up, so what I would like you to do for the weekend is I would just like you to put your Chromebook away, and I would like you to figure out something new that you could try. With an adult in your house, maybe you can brainstorm some ideas of something new that you can try. Maybe they can help you try something with baking or cooking. Maybe you can work on catching and throwing a ball outside. What's always fun too is maybe you could create your own scavenger hunt for your families inside your house or outside your house. Our learning targets today are listening to understanding stories that are read to us and also responding to those stories using words and pictures, subtracting to five, and segmenting words with three sounds. Boys and girls, it is going to be a fabulous Friday. Ready? Set. Learn.